Welcome back to Fab Fun. My name's Logan, and today I'm going to be looking at projects. When I was moving Project Yellow's box, that's an 18 foot old Penske or Hertz moving truck, uh, box truck, straight truck, whatever you want to call it. When I was moving it, I tried to pick up one end and this weld popped loose and it peeled this part of my homemade quick attach plate here, kind of peeled it up a little bit. Now I do have a quick attach plate that I could cut those off, weld a whole new plate on, which would probably work great, but why not go ahead and use what I've got? All I gotta do, grind this down a little bit, beat this back down, and re-weld it. I could probably reinforce it over here. I just need to check the fitment on my tractor and make sure it'll still work. Obviously, you can see where the red paint from the Massey Ferguson where I come in and it rubs a little bit. So I'm pretty sure I'm clear to put some reinforcement here on this side and maybe finish up this weld a little bit better possibly even a gusset right here, as well as on this corner. Other updates, let's see. I haven't edited all the video for this yet, uh, at least at the time of filming, so I don't know how much of this, uh, leveling it up and trying to get it where I was happy, at least level enough to be happy. Um, I don't know how much of that's gonna be on there. But it was a little bit spooky a couple of times. What I plan on doing is taking this garage door style off and studying up a wall, putting a door, putting a window, and running an extension cord out here so my wife uh, can do whatever craft she wants to do. Maybe even put a little air conditioner in there and have her own little private place where she keeps all her crafts on shelving. I've got some rivet rack to go in there. I think what I'm gonna do is put a couple of deck boards um, running lengthwise and give her a little bit of a porch here not exactly sure or maybe just make steps but I would like to hide some of the rust holes there that would be nice I don't know we'll see how it looks after we paint it it is going to be red to match the barn hopefully it won't look horrible it is really close to the road and probably at the end of the day will still look like an old beat up truck box this is gonna come flying out or something. You guys stay back. Like that. We do not want to shut this after we cut these cables. After I cut these cables, whatever. I could probably use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and zip through this. But why do it the easy way when you can do it the hard way? Don't try this at home. Remember what I said about not shutting it? Shut. The way is shut. Oh gosh. <laughs> well.
That's so funny. You want to get a barrel and put it underneath it and push it up the side? They're actually a little bit sturdier than you think. Think? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Salt -tall? I think you should use a tire jack. I don't want to get in there and get stuck. I want to cut these doors off, get them out of there. This one's kind of moving, isn't it? What if I just take a sawzall and cut you a door mm, here? Yeah, I think. And then we just mount it. Think that'd be good? Then we could just paint the sides. Mm. I don't know about fun. that. 